No shade. Okay, maybe a little. Hey babes, it's Trine, AKA Trine Jigs. Oh, welcome back to my channel, guys. I know, it's been a minute. <laughs> I needed a break like and that's all I can say I'm not even like a full-time youtuber yet and I needed a break I need a break I always hear youtubers talk about how they get creative burnout and like I hello that was me and it's so funny because I've talked about this before so I'm not gonna go on a rant today that's not what this video is about what I will say is it's very difficult to be able to sustain performing at a certain level and being able to create a like high quality content when you're not getting anything in return. I've said this before, I have a whole video dedicated to it. If you care about my rant about this, feel free to check it out. Creating content was getting the best of me between Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. I was spent and I needed a break. So, but I hope you guys missed me because I missed you. I missed sitting in front of the camera. Today, I wanted to talk about my luxury wish list. This is specifically for summer, but obviously these items can carry me into the rest of the year, next year, the year after that. This was like so fun. And it's also a form of manifestation, I feel like, because you talk about these things, you put it out in the atmosphere. And then before you know it, boom, they just pop up into your life. I just want to talk about some things that I've been eyeing specifically for the summer and yeah so let's just get into it if you're interested in seeing what items i have on my wish list for summer 2022 then just keep watching okay so i feel like everybody has a wish list like it doesn't matter what you're into whether it's cars or shoes or home decor like i feel like everyone has a wish list for something i'm actually going to start with jewelry i have my little list here i made notes <laughs> i'm pretty boring when it comes to my jewelry i like minimal jewelry that's unique that looks good layered together so that's kind of like my vibe but i definitely want to upgrade my jewelry collection and this is a great rip start first up on the list we have the vivian westwood mini boss relief choker and i want it in the gold tone if you're into fashion if you're like into like trendy stuff it girl fashion as i like to call it um if you've been on social media i'm sure that you've seen the vivian westwood i don't know the specific name of it but the the three strand pearl choker like i feel like that's been super popular it's been like knocked off there are a lot of dupes like on etsy and stuff like that that you can't even get but um while i think that that necklace is beautiful i love vivian westwood jewelry anyway i love vivian westwood as a designer i'll say like i love her aesthetic that's not necessarily something that you will wear every day the one in particular that i like this style is the one strand really really cute this is even like something cute that you could wear not only like for dressing up or special occasions as a statement piece but also you can wear it like day to day and this price tag is a lot more reasonable and a lot more in my opinion i feel like more attainable than um the one that has the three layers of pearls or the three strands of pearls but they're both equally beautiful necklaces if i could get both both you better believe i would get both super cute love the gold tone it also comes in silver and rose gold but i'm a gold kind of girl so <laughs> the next piece of jewelry i have on my wish list is the dior Densus Etoile choker if that's how you pronounce it but it's just the dior choker like the gold choker that has the christian dior logo c it says cd on it the initials for christian dior i love how thick the chain is like this is something i wouldn't necessarily wear this like layered with other necklaces i don't think maybe but so cute i love this as a statement necklace the initials like if somebody doesn't necessarily know that dior makes this necklace you may not even think that it's a dior necklace someone may just assume that my initials are cd you know so i love that about it i love the more so like if you know you know type of vibe because it's gold because it's like an initial kind of necklace to me it, it's almost like a classic piece you know and i also feel like even though it is fashion jewelry i don't think that it is real gold i doubt it because it probably will cost more i don't know but i do think that it's something that would age well something nice that you could pass down to your kids or whatever like well that i could pass down to my kids like my daughter and yeah i think it's really cute i don't have a daughter but when i do get a daughter i'm saying you y'all know what i'm saying 
whatever. Okay, this next item is like super basic of me, but I don't have them yet and I still really want them and I have not gotten them, but hopefully I'll be able to get them soon. And that is the Louis Vuitton Louise hoop earrings. Now they do have two different styles of this earring. They have one that, um, actually I don't even know how to explain it, but they're very similar in style. And so to be specific, these are the ones that I want not this other style but i think the ones that i like are a little bit bigger like the hoop size and you know what they say the bigger the hoop the bigger the hoe this is so basic of me i feel like because literally everybody has these earrings and if they don't have the louis vuitton earrings they have the ones from aliexpress or alibaba <laughs> No shade. Okay, maybe a little. A gold hoop, you can't go wrong with it. I know that LV monogram might be a little bit flashy for some people, but I particularly feel like it has a time and a place. You know? um, the next item I have as far as jewelry on my wish list is the David Yerman Classic Cable Cuff in the 7mm diameter or thickness. I want it either in the onyx or the blue topaz because if you're new here, blue is my favorite color. And the blue is so pretty, so stunning. Like it reminds you of like ocean water. Like it's just so pretty. And I, I love the, the onyx stone because I just think that it's so like classy and black is just, you know, like a classic color. I never thought that I would be into like the two-tone jewelry thing, but like as I've gotten older, I'm just like, to me now, I feel like it looks like shmoney. So I'm all about it. But I love these bracelets. I think they're so cute. They layer really, really well with other um, bracelets and other jewelry pieces. So that's the great thing about like David Yerman pieces. And yeah, I think they are just so like chic, timeless, classic. And that's what you want, like especially for like luxury jewelry items. When you're spending a little bit more money, you want things that are like classic. You want things that are like timeless things that you are, because you're investing in them, you'll be able to wear it for years and years. And then the last thing I have on the list in the jewelry category is the snake like earring. It's by Maria Tosh or Maria Tash. I don't know if it's Tosh or Tash, but it's the engraved snake black diamond eye threaded stud earring is the name, that's a mouthful. I have been wanting for so long to step up my earring game and my like in my ear with all of my piercings like my left ear has all the piercings is where I have my tragus piercing I also plan to get two more piercings in this ear my right ear needs to catch up I don't know if I'm going to do anything to the right ear just yet but I have been wanting for so long to step up my jewelry my ear jewelry over here in this ear and this snake earring is stunning it is so pretty but the price tag and i'm just like granted it is 14 karat gold and it is real diamonds but i just when i think about how much legit how much this costs like you don't even get to, it's just one earring you could obviously wear it um in like any of the holes on your lobe but this specific style of earring the way that it's made is made for tragus piercings but like whatever but it's just y'all i'm gonna get it though don't you worry i'm going to get this earring okay so next up i mean of course you know i could not do this wish list without any bad eggs hello i have been eyeing quite a few okay the first one, now keep in mind, this is like as far as summer is concerned, so just keep that in mind. The first one is this Coperny Mini Crystal Swipe Bag and this light pink. This bag is so cute and I'm not even into like pink. I'm not, who would have ever thought that I would like a sparkly pink bag? I just feel like it's so girly, which is usually not my style, but this bag is so cute, especially for summer. Like, and because it's a purse, it's a great way to add like a pop of color to your outfit, like sparkles, shimmer, sparkly stuff. All of that is on trend for this spring and summer 2022 anyway. This bag is so cute. And I love the shape of Coperny. The swipe bags, like the shape of the bag is just, I don't know, it's super cute. And I love that this, like a lot of people don't have this bag. And I'm all about that. Like. I feel like everybody walks around with the same stuff all the time. And it's so annoying because 
Instagram is to blame. It's like one person sees somebody with it and then everybody runs out and buys it. And I have never really subscribed to that. Yeah, the bags on this list, I'll definitely say maybe bags that you haven't heard of before or not necessarily the most popular styles that you've seen all over your social media feed. Let's let's give those things a break and let's 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 try something else, you know? The next bag is y'all. There are two bags on this list that I legit just honestly at this point i don't even care what color i get i just want i just need one in my collection the first is the mini lady dior in this metallic gum metal now this color is new like it's a newer color to the collection this gum metal bag with this gold hardware do y'all understand i love the lady dior specifically in the mini I'm not really a big bag kind of girl, but I will also get the Lady Dior because I like it that much in the medium size as well. But I really, really, really like the mini because it would be cute for like a going out bag. But this gun metal, that's a bag. And I also love that it has a crossbody strap, which I probably would never wear, but I like the idea of having it just in case, cause you never know. And then the other bag that I honestly don't care what color I get it in, is the Saint Laurent Nano Sex Du Jour. Love this bag. When I went to Miami, they had a yellow one at the uh, Saint Laurent store. I, I would love to have gotten that yellow one. But like if I could get the Nano Sex Du Jour in a bright color, like an orange, or like I saw this pink, super cute, or like that yellow, chef's kiss, especially for summertime. Another bag that I like literally am obsessed with, I think these bags are so cool, are the puzzle bags by Loewe. Specifically the mini because, hmm, you see a running theme here? Yeah, I'm all about a mini bag. And honestly, I think that mini bags for this bag, specifically the puzzle bag, are cooler. I definitely feel like the bigger this bag is, for me, I just feel like it's a little bit like matronly, but not in a bad way. Just like it's like a mother bag, like something that a more mature woman would carry. One with style, let's be clear, because not very many women are walking around with the Loewe puzzle bag anyway. I just love the bag. I think it's super cool anyway. But for me and my personal style right now, the mini is where it's at. And I honestly wouldn't really care about what color I got this in either. As long as it was like a cool colorway, I saw this like neon -y or lime type of green. I don't even know what color this green is, but I love this color combo specifically. I thought it was really cute and really nice for summer. It's a top handle and then it also has the option for you to carry it as a crossbody. And I think that's really important in the summer because you do a lot of walking, you do a lot of outside stuff where you just need your hands free. So the next bag I have on my wish list is the Goyard Monogram Tote specifically in the GM. I never realized how useful these like huge totes would be until a couple of years ago, I had got the MCM tote. Um, I was going on vacation one year. I was gifted it for my birthday. And literally you can carry your entire life in that bag. And sometimes you just need a big ass bag that you can throw everything in. You know what I mean? Whether you're going to the beach, if you're like running errands for the day, whatever you're doing. Like I went to a wine festival last weekend and if I would have had that bag, it would have came in handy. I'm telling you with carrying things because child, that was another story for another day. Those are the type of things that you do in the summer, in the spring and summer. And so you need a big bag just to throw everything in. And they have this really pretty yellow or the orange color. Both are really cute. Can't find them anywhere, honestly, other than like resale sites, which I'm not opposed to. But the great thing about this um, tote, especially for summer, the coating that's on the bag is going to prevent it from getting damaged in any way. Because in the summer, we're moving around, we're doing a lot of things. And especially, like I said, if you're something that you would carry maybe like to the beach, for example, you don't have to worry about it getting messed up. It's more durable than some of your other, like a Louis Vuitton Neverfull for example, or even like a Dior book tote. And again, everybody has a book tote. Everybody has a Neverfull, but not everybody has a Goyard monogram tote. Do they? Let's think about it. Exactly. And just like bags, you know we gotta have shoes on the list too. First up, we have the Balenciaga boots, the Calgon Coke. I don't know how you pronounce it. We're not even doing that. 
but basically it's the boots that go with the city bag y'all know which ones i'm talking about and i call these the it girl boots like that's my little running joke that i have right now with my friends i always say oh the, the balenciaga it girl boots because i feel like all the like it girls the it fashion girls have them specifically i want them in white i think it has a lot to do with like they're giving me nostalgia because they're really reminding me of y2k fashion like the early 2000s with like the pointed toe and the fitted like knee boot fitted to the calf i I'm here for it. So they're super cute, but they are so expensive. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking, like, girl, boots in the summer? Yes, boots in the summer. I've talked about this before on my channel. I wear boots all year round. If you don't. Okay, well, that's you. But on the other hand, me? Oh, I'm gonna turn up. That's your thing, and I get it. But me, on the other hand, I'm wearing boots all year round. I have another pair of boots on here. These boots, you guys. Oh my when i saw these boots i my jaw literally like dropped my best friend is having a studio 54 theme party for his birthday in september and i was like i gotta get these boots so i can wear them to the party and for even for me these are a bit much because i feel like again i'm not so loud when it comes to my fashion a lot of a lot of the time i'm trying to step out of my comfort zone a little bit more when it comes to like my fashion and my style and everything i'm going through a transformation period so just so they're the dolce and gabbana jackie sequin tall boot like do y'all see these boots do y'all see like did your jaw drop because i'm telling you when i saw these boots for the first time my jaw dropped a boot okay a shoe I definitely would wear them in the summertime with shorts and skirts and dresses, especially like at night. I think that's the best way that you can like wear boots, especially if they're like taller boots. I'm not doing like a thigh boot in the summertime. Of course I wouldn't do that, but ankle boots, booties, knee boots, definitely am not opposed to wearing those in the summer with shorts and with dresses and with short skirts. I mean, they're super colorful and fun. So I think that they're perfect for summertime, but that's just me. All right, so next up is a pair of sneakers, and that is the Naked Wolf City sneakers in green camo. I think that these are so cute. I always see Naked Wolf shoes, and like, I want a pair, low key. I think that the shoes are really cool. They're just not necessarily my personal style, but I'm telling you, when I can figure out a way to like style them so that it works for me, I'm definitely going to get a pair. But I feel like these sneakers are really cute because they're the chunky sneakers like those are in right now those big chunky sneakers and I love the camo color they come in a lot of other colors but this camo hit different super cute so I think that these would be really fun for summer um and even into fall so yeah next pair of shoes I know I might be a little bit late to the party and that is the Bottega stretch mesh heels like they came in so many other colors but i would like boring old black initially it was like the hype and that the, the thing is when something comes out there's a lot of hype around it and so i like to to tune that out because i don't want to get swept up in the hype end up buying something that i might regret later or that i really didn't like and so that's basically the story with these why i never got them but i really like them you know when you realize you really need something in your closet it's like when you go to put an outfit on and you think about the item and you're like dang i wish i had this item and i feel like that a lot of times when i get dressed with these shoes so i know that it'll be worth my while and i'll be able to get my cost per wear out of them i feel like the style of the shoe is a bit out there and getting them in black, to me, I think makes them more wearable. I love the bright colors. I think they're super fun. But I don't know. In my opinion, I just feel like maybe the colors might get a little old fast with the black i feel like you know you can wear those all year round so i'm planning to get them soon i was going to get them for my birthday but i ended up going with something else i didn't even wear the outfit that i was going to get them with i don't know why i just didn't get them anyway but they're still on my wish list and i think that they would be perfect for summer and i also would be able to get a lot of, get a lot of wear out of them all year round as well so they're definitely on the list all right so of course since this is a summer wish list what would a summer be without sunglasses even though i wear sunglasses all year round but i'll get what i'm saying i only have two pairs on my wish list um because i honestly don't really subscribe to 
buying designer sunglasses or like expensive sunglasses. I won't even say designer. Spending a lot of money on sunglasses is just not necessarily something that I do or have done rather. Sunglasses are like the easiest to lose or to break. But hey, I mean, splurging may force me to be more responsible. <laughs> so the first pair that I have is the Lueve Paula's Ibiza 56 millimeter square sunglasses and the tortoise like frames with the orange. I don't even like square sunglasses and I have no idea how these would look on me, but I loved really, really big oversized sunglasses. And I don't know what it is about this like brown tortoise and orange combo, but I'm I'm here for it. And I just feel like Loewe does really, really good sunglasses anyway. Okay, and then we have the Balenciaga D-frame. Yes, I feel like everybody has these now. <laughs> um, but I specifically like the Dynasty D-frame. I like that they are a little bit more of like that cat eye shape almost as opposed to like the rectangular shape love the like double b on the side i just think that it's so like badass i don't know these glasses to me just make you look like that girl and i don't know they're super cute really really chic like to me these glasses just say don't talk to me like i'm that girl don't talk to me and yeah i need to say that like that's what i need to say when i go out into the world so Love the gold hardware, not the silver. I'm not really a silver girl. I just think that gold looks better on my skin. So, of course, you know, I gotta have them all black with the gold hardware. I just feel like, honestly, anyway, black sunglasses, you can never have enough pairs of black sunglasses. Like, there is a style and a shape for every occasion. So, I just don't feel like you can ever have enough pairs of black sunglasses. And that's just that. These next couple of items are just like miscellaneous items that I was like um yeah I definitely need these at some point so the first thing is an Apple watch and I know you're probably like girl what but yes an Apple watch like I don't know why I never got one I felt like what was the point because I'm not necessarily a fan of the watch per se but I'm back to working out a lot and I would like to have it for that and I know that that might not be enough motivation to fork up however much it costs for the watch because honestly I don't even know now how much it is I just feel like it would be really helpful when it comes to me working out and being able to keep track of like my fitness goals and everything it's on my wish list because I still don't know if that's enough of a reason for me to actually buy the watch you know what I mean I feel like once I get it I'm sure I'll be able to like take advantage of the other functionalities of the watch but should that be the only reason why I want to get it you know so, Apple Watch. <laughs> and since we're on the subject of Apple, that brings me to my next item that's on my wish list. I was in the mall, which I'm not, I'm rarely in the mall, but I was in the mall with one of my best friends and we walked past the Apple store and I saw this iMac and fell in love. It was love at first sight. It was love at first sight. And I hate to even say this because I'm definitely going to be revealing my age. But I remember when I was younger, Apple came, or Mac, whatever it was at the time, came out with these computers. Now, this was back in the stone age when computers were huge and they looked like this. But they came out with all of these like colors of the rainbow. It was like the biggest thing, okay? As far as electronics and computers were concerned, it was a huge deal. And we got them in school. I had one, like it was a big thing. And so when I saw these, it was very like nostalgic. Like I need it. I need this computer. So if there's anyone out there who loves me enough to get this computer or help me to get my 24 inch iMac, then let me know specifically in blue please <laughs> but they come in all these other fun colors i love that they like updated and upgraded the old ones and came out with these i think it's super cool like i said very nostalgic and like really really fun especially like for kids to look at you know i got excited so i know kids would get excited about it but yeah so fun okay and then finally i can kind of like group these together i feel like because they're hair tools and that is the Dyson hair dryer and the Dyson air wrap. I recently cut my bang into like this 
bang fringe curtain situation and I have been watching like all these hair tutorials and like I really like that like blowout look and every hair tutorial that I've watched that's what everybody is using I know Conair also makes one similar which I may just try but I feel like it's not Dyson and like I just feel like Dyson is the cream of the crop for whatever reason but that's why it's on my wish list right I mean like the results are amazing. I mean, and I've seen them on all different hair textures, all different hair lengths. And so I'm super excited about this Dyson Airway. Like, I need to try it before my hair grows out. So we gotta, we gotta, we gotta figure that out. The Dyson hair dryer, I mean, honestly, I only want it for vanity purposes. Like, it's so cute and compact and like, it just looks so cool, so innovative. I want it. But it's like $400 or something for a hair dryer, which is crazy because seeing as how the one that I have currently was like $40 at Target. All right, guys, so that concludes my luxury wish list. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a little bit of a different video for me, but I've been watching a lot of these videos lately and I'm really into them. So I was like, hmm, let me make one myself. It was really, really fun to make. Was there anything that was on my wish list that may be on your wish list? Do you have a wish list? I'm sure you do. If you do, let me know something in the comments that's on your wish list. Was there anything that I talked about that you didn't even know existed that you like that you may add to your wish list? Again, let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, babes. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I know a lot of y'all watching my videos, but you've not subscribed. And I'm, I, I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to need y'all to take care of that. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell so you will be notified the next time I upload a video. Just in case I decide I want to go on another hiatus. Thank you all for hanging out with me today. It feels good to be back. And until the next time.